Hi QA folks, in this video I want to show you how you can read test data from Excel file in JavaScript regardless if you need it for Cypress, Playwright or any other framework or library. So I have this Excel file with three lines. First one contains kind of headers or attribute names for the objects that we will read in the and the second contains data accordingly, products to search, the amount of results. So what my code will do, it will read uh, these headers first to put them as a properties in objects. You see, and function will return array of objects. First one will contain product to search amount of results and second the same product to search amount of results. I'm going to use best by website for my testing. So the test will be simple. It will take product to search and search on best by website and then it will check that amount of results this text is present on the page. So it will be two tests in common. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to install dependency or library that can help us to read data from Excel file. We need to run npm i or npm install command npm i xlsx in the root of your project. Here, for example, I'm located in the root of my project. And here I will run npm e excel sx. I already installed it, but in your case it will download and install it. This warning, do not uh, pay attention to this. You cannot fix it. But it will do the job for us uh, by reading from Excel files. So then, after you will run this command, what happens? It will add this line into your package.json file. Add, it will add dependency. This is the library that we were asking for. And it will download and install this library into your node modules folder in your project so you can use it and import it in your files. Then I created manually create this test data folder. You can name it whatever you want. This Excel file, the same, you can use any name, but I would rather not to use spaces in your name, so be careful. And the content of my Excel file I've already showed you. First line headers for attribute names, and then goes uh, data, test data. So I will be reading it in here. You see I am passing Excel file name. The folder name will be uh, hard coded inside the function itself. Then I'm just uh, printing out to console the content of this Excel to see what's inside. And then using for loop, I will create separate test for each of the lines. So you see this Excel that data provider, it gets array from uh, array of objects from Excel file. And then uh, for each line, it reads each attribute, in our case, it's product to search amount of results. See, I extract them into separate variables here. Open Best Buy page, performing search, hard coded wait five seconds, and then I search text is present this amount of results. So, test will check that when we search iPhone 14 Plus product of text, it will. Best Buy platform will return seven items. Actually, that the text 
seven items is present on the page. For the Nova Yoga X1, it will be 38 items. Now, what do I have inside this function? So I went ahead and created this file red excel sheet utils in my utils folder it will you can see her code name of the folder so if you named it differently be sure to update this name then using pass.sep to get the correct slash for file system then the function itself, it takes a uh, file name, adds it to folder name, check if the file exists or not. Then using Excel 6 imported from the library that we installed, it reads Excel file and with this line it converts the data to array of objects, which we can see here and returns it. Then I'm passing it in for loop and run tests. What are other code changes? So package.json we reviewed, the dependency, Excel file I created manually, util files file I created manually, with this one I just added some quickly added some function to assert if text was present by using contains so it will fail the test if such text is not on the page and the spec file itself these lines and one more thing do not forget to add to import functions that you are using. In my case, it's newly added read data. So the logic, one more time, is the following. Read data first. Uh, this one is just to print it out to console. Then pass uh, the data as in the form of array of objects read those attributes of those objects and use them in the test the way you want it to be used. In my case, I just extract into variables, searching something, verify for expected result that I also taken from Excel file. Let's run it and see if it works. runs two tests in parallel thirty eight items not found let's check you see it returns to thirty nine that's why it failed Let's run one more time. To see it will, if it will be 38 or 39. Again, over time this test, uh, the items to be found might be changed because some products can be added or removed. So that's where you need to adjust your test. So accordingly, or to check that the amount of results is just more than 38, for example. But again, it's not the purpose of this specific video, the specific tests or demo. So in my case, I will go and do 39, save it and run it again.
here you can see two pasts just here it still shows in red because it contains uh, old name is 38 so anyway uh, that's how you can read data oh and one more thing that it's a really simple example when you have only one sheet with data and here you can see that workbook dot sheet names zero is used it might become more complicated if you need to read data from different sheets within uh, the same file so you need to adjust this uh, function accordingly but uh, again just for the demo purposes for the simple case this is how you can do it using this library that's it for this video see you in the next one